Okay. okay we're good. Um, good. Good afternoon. You're attending uh, an ethics board meeting for Baltimore City for Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. Time is 2.38 p.m. This is a remote meeting via Microsoft Teams. Uh, good afternoon. You need to know that uh, per the Open Meetings Act, the board discloses that it adjourned its virtual open meeting on March 9th, 2022 to enter into an administrative session at approximately 3.09 p.m. All board members were present. Members discussed administrative matters, including complaints. In that regard, the board may need to close summer all of this meeting to preserve the confidentiality mandated by the ethics code or as otherwise authorized by the State Open Meetings Act. Likewise, upon adjournment of the open session, the board may reconvene for administrative session to discuss non-public administrative functions of the board. All right, thank you. Um, we'll ask to uh, approve the minutes of our March 9th, 2022 public meeting. I had a chance to review them. Are there any questions or edits? So um, just one quick note, a couple of the numbers are off by one. I was reviewing them today. So if it's all right, I'll just correct those numbers so that they're accurate. The numbers for training or? Yes, yeah, so the training is slightly higher. The total attendees should be 657. The help desk, there was one more. So it was 118 in February, let's see. Um, and then the gift station campaigns, there, should, there were nine active campaigns because one had expired and six advisory opinions. So those, I will correct those if that is all right with the board. Yeah, uh, any objections? None. All right, um, any other discussion on the minutes? All right, there being none, um, all in favor of approving the written minutes of March 9th, 2022 with edits from Mara Ford, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, let's move on. <laughs> All right, to the paid staff. Thanks, Chair Fogelman. As a brief update to board staff activities and board activities in the last month uh, since the previous board meeting, we'll start with trainings. Um, we sent out a blast email to all city employees, uh, sort of the first time we had we had done that, advertising the automated training, and. Um, got a lot of got a lot of registrations um, pretty quickly. So in April, we had 32 people enrolled. Uh, May, we have 214 people registered so far. In June, 24 people registered so far, and then July, 16 so far. Um, so that would bring our total fiscal year 22 attendees to 674, um, which is a we're we're happy with that number. On the help desk front. There are 189 help desk requests received by ethics staff um, in February. Uh, looks like the March. majority. Uh, sorry, in, the, in March. <laughs> yeah, the, the sorry, the time, but and it's the time between the two board meetings, or are we, is it just in the month of March? Oh, so the the first number is the entire month of March, and then the um, next number is since in April. If that makes sense. So mm -hmm. the few weeks. Got it. Yeah, April. yeah, yeah. OK, that's fine. Sorry, I, I had the wrong heading here. Um, 136 of those were concerning financial disclosure statements, uh, which Mara has been uh, putting on her customer service hat and handling those very well. Um, and that's because we are in financial disclosure season and a number of reminders are going out in advance of the May 2nd deadline. Um, the law says April 30th, but because that falls on a weekend, uh, the deadline's actually May, May 2nd. Um, we also had 26 help desk requests for substantive ethics inquiries um, and then uh, you know, a few other smaller ones for lobbyists, gift solicitations, um, things like that. Total help desk requests in fiscal year 2022 has been 959. Uh, complaints generically, um, we still have two open complaints, um, but in fiscal 2022 we have uh, nine closed complaints that brings us to a total of 11 complaints in fiscal year 2022. As for advisory opinions, can you hear me? Yes, we lost you, Jeff. Uh oh. 
Am I back? Oh, now we now now we can hear you. All right. Sorry about that. We're off. as much as as much as I hate to suggest this, maybe you should turn your camera off. Yeah, let me let me do that. Oh come on, you know you've wanted to suggest that for a while. <laughs> you've got like the best hair. Never, never. Uh, all right, Wessie, where was I? Um, advisory opinions. To be advisory opinions. opinions. All right, we've in this just we eight, of the eight um, and of those we published four of them for the public with information removed. Remaining, um, and we we included. Let's see. Interesting on the forms front. Uh, uh, since we received fifty notices of ethics requirements, again, that's where you know new employees and appointees are supposed to receive the notice and sign it. Tells them about the um, yeah the requirements of law, potential requirements like the financial disclosure statement and training. We, we received 50 of those because, I think we mentioned, um, we instituted an online way to fill that out. So I think that's already bearing fruit uh, because HR individuals are now just providing the link instead of a PDF. And surprising, you know, it's not surprisingly, we're we're getting, uh, getting seemingly many more of those than we hard copy PDF. So th that's been a good uh, implementation. And the gift solicitation report, um, we have 11 active campaigns this school year. One we'll move on to in just a second for board consideration and uh, expired campaigns this year. There are six of those. And that will do it for the admin update. Great. All right. Do we have any old business? I don't believe so. No. Don't believe so. Well, we'll move into new business, and they, it looks like uh, the only thing we have today is, is the solicitation application request from the Mayor's Office of African American Male Engagement. Is that right? That's right. Okay. All right. Um, members, uh, looked at the solicitation request. I know you have two. We have any discussion there on? Nothing stood out to me. <clears throat> I'll point out if it's helpful. This is uh, this campaign existed in a uh, previous campaign uh, that has inspired, um, and the responsibility for it has now moved to the mayoral office. We've we've at least been trying to keep in touch with the new designees um, with information from the past campaign and I, I don't see a reason that the board should not approve this one but I think we'll note that we will accounting of where the previous campaign stood Jeff I just want to let you know you are fading in and out yeah, yeah, we didn't hear that last week. We missed a few possibly germane words in your last sentence. <laughs> You've turned off the camera. <laughs> Could you turn off your audio, please? <laughs> you want me to? I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I, I think I know what you said, Jeff. You, you said that it's been approved in the past. Obviously, it'll be subject to our accounting and the reporting. Right. And also, I'll jump in if, if Jeff is still cut out. Um, basically, what we would do is ask them we were for a status of their funds because there was a bit of a like a lull in between their last waiver and this current one. So we would basically ask them to update us on their current funds and donations and expenditures. Um, and that would be kind of included in the approval letter. Just so we have a good okay. understanding of where they stand. That yeah, I think a good, that's a good idea. Is is there any way, <clears throat> Mara, to give us a, a listing of all of these somewhere? Yeah, absolutely. I, I you can probably have a list. 
but is is there any way every now and then we could see the list of what's active and you know who has submitted their report or yes i can send um i do frequent reports especially with the civic fund so i can include those reports in the agendas those are quarterly and then okay, um, in okay. the in the meantime, we also have them all up on our website. So we have a list of all of our active waivers, oh, okay. their applications and their approval letters. So after this meeting, I'll at least send you that link so you can see all of those. And then for reports, uh, I can include the reports in our agendas or at least provide like a a quarterly report that I send to Civic Fund. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, but I'll start with sending you the link. All right. Uh, any other uh... Discussion on the solicitation uh, waiver uh, application. No, I would I would agree with the follow up, but also just note that it's a civic fund. It's been run by the civic fund, so um, mm -hmm. I think that's a positive. And I would, mm -hmm. be, I would I, to the extent that everybody is willing to, I would approve it as well. I don't see anything wrong yep. with it. Yep. All right, I'll go ahead mm -hmm. and uh, move to approve the uh, application for the mayor's office of African American male engagement. Go ahead, second. Second. All right, uh, motion and seconded. Uh, all in favor of approving the solicitation application there, uh, there too, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. And folks, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and adjourn this open session, there being no further uh, business in the public session. All right, we're Thumbs adjourned. Up. Thank you. <laughs>